What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Portal Revolution. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys are having a really great day today. Listen. All right. A quick recap. Sterling. Um. Pretty much did this to us. We are at the bottom of the, the freaking facility. All the way at the bottom. Now, I don't know if this will be the, like we're close to the ending or not. But I still have a bad feeling about this, nevertheless. So let's just keep on trucking. Yo, flow. Yo, flow. I do. Danger in the event, uh, in the event of flooding, seek air pocket. Oh. I do like the ambiance of the game, though, for sure. Oh, cutscene, right? Or new chapter? I mean, we've already been on a new chapter. Yeah. Caution. Oh. I do see doors. I do see a lot of doors. Well, not doors, but that subject area waiting. Ugh. But like, I'm, I'm talking about like the white panels, you know, that over there, all this, where the portal gun could actually, uh, you know, shoot. But we have no portal gun. He's, uh, my boss is a robot. Okay. What? Uh, Carla the complainer. <laughs> Carla the complainer. So, but did you know robots are smarter than you? Robots are harder than you. Robots are better than you. Volunteer for testing today. Okay. Makes a lot of sense, Carla. Big nerd. Um, remember, visit the Aperture Science Cafeteria on the second, uh, 22nd floor, sector 0785. Tasty. Try out the cakes. Warning. We are rewarding a free cake to any and all who are willing to volunteer for testing. <laughs> They're trying to push the testing. They remember what's on sleep. They can't test and do your job. Volunteer for testing. Hmm. Well, you know, GLaDOS told us that the cake is a lie, so yeah. It's like a lot of places we can go. Please prepare your papers for inspection. Oh, goody. I kind of don't want to go that way yet. Let me, let me, let me see if I can touch things over here. Touch, touch. Hmm. It still doesn't. It still doesn't. Um. Right, I guess we have to go that way. Doesn't explain as to what happened to these people. Like. Uh, I haven't seen the video yet. I think I'm going to have to sit down for the three hours for the three hour lecture of what happened in, in aperture science, but it does say it, it does say, like I told you before, you see, there's a way way to put it on there. It does say that, you know, they're like invading the earth and, you know, so something about like GLaDOS when, when, when they made GLaDOS, they made her like way too intelligent. So she started getting sentient and whatnot. About what? So you know, and then I'm pretty sure she pretty much programmed all of the robots to you know work against humans, right? Like the uh, like the workers. But that doesn't ex that doesn't explain why there are no bodies, and like these are just turrets, unless. Unless she like like physically went around before the events of Portal One, and you know, gosh, thanks. Uh, and, and picked up the body to put it in the incinerator, but right? it didn't make it just makes no sense at all. So, 
Hey, man. All we gotta do now is keep on trucking along, sucker. You may work with robots, but you can't take a you can't take a bullet. <laughs> uh, good to know. Aperture Laboratories. Elevator to the surface. About. Yes. So close yet far. Do I have to like restore power to this whole place? I mean, I'm basically walking in blind, right? Enrich yourself today. Volunteer with this. Oh man. Yeah, so I'm going in blind, right? Like just following wherever the door is open. You know what I'm you know what I'm doing, bro? Because I've been playing a a ton of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I'm looking to this freaking corner to see how freaking Memento Mori told him in there, man. Or or a hex told him, my bad. I mean either way. But jeez, man, I'm looking around corners to see if there's anything there. Oh boy. Okay. So I got a feeling that we're going to find ourselves with Sterling again. And he's going to be like, oh man, look, man, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what happened, man. I, I really don't know what happened and such and whatnot. And this is not and blah, 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 blah. Welcome I to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> the fact you're standing here tells me that you want to help us revolutionize the world. Just like we have for over 30 years. Long draft? This one? Lunch at 10. Wait, where are you going? Are we not finishing my part? All right. No, under 30 years. Now, I do know that the that the owner of Aperture Science first made, like, curtains or something like that. Like, shower curtains. They're the blobs. I thought, I thought, I thought we were having, like, a like a drought of those, but apparently not. I think I got a feeling as to what I'm, I might want to do. No? But yeah, and like after that, he started like going. Look at that. Fabulous. So after purchasing a salt mine in Upper Michigan from his profits, made in the military grade. Shy, you see? Made in the military shower curtains. Business, science, Maverick Cave Johnson found funds aperture science in innovators. All right. Aperture. Uh, embracing change. Uh, fostering inclusive inclusivity. In response to the 1968 Senate hearing on missing astronauts, Aperture Science expanded its product testing to include participants outside the country's elite class of human resources, science, the high, the highly popular $60 science contribution reward enabled hundreds of low-income families to secure a regular source of revenue. Ah, and the portal gun. The portal gun. Yes, son. Red. Huh? Huh. New era. Uh, following the passing of founder and CEO Cave Johnson, Aperture Science, uh, what's that? Reinvents uh, itself under new leadership. Aperture Science handheld portal device. After 30 years of innovating, the handheld portal device marks a major milestone in personal teleportation technology. Portal conductor paint uh, from oh made from a new patented moon rock based composite materials is available in our store. Okay, so I do know as well as well that uh, Cave Johnson, pretty much the, the the founder and the whole thing of Aperture, um, he kind of did like he how to put this. He um he was collecting moon moon dust to make to make this happen, right? But then it, 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 at the cost of him actually dying, because I think he like made it worse than it is. Oh, say la vie, Mr. Johnson, say la vie. All right, so now that we got our own portal gun, where I can shoot. 
30, 30 meters. I don't think so, man. All right, whatever, dude. All right, let's go and um, see where we can put this. Oh, wait a minute. Probably. Go oh, yeah. All right, so gel flow, the blue gel flow. Man, there's nowhere to go here. Unless they want me to jump. All right, so where is this going to lead? No, no, no. I thought that was open. Huh? Is it a... I don't know. I am definitely at a loss. Usually I would like, you know, cut this part and, uh, you know, try to figure it out, but I don't, I don't feel like editing. <laughs> oh man. Like, okay. Let, 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 let me point something out. Right. Um, sometimes and like by sometimes, I mean, oh dude, it's like probably like, um, Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Okay. Like probably like once in a blue moon, I, hello, I am a desk worker. Okay. I messed up. <laughs> okay. But yeah, sometimes like I, I would edit my videos, like, I guess like some other people would, you know, but I'm not them though. You know, I'm trying to do different. There we go. Okay, but yeah, like I want to do things my way. You know, like yeah, I could copy the other people, like the people like who do like uh, like editing, like you know the funny editing with the laughs and the soundtracks and the and the back thingies and whatnot. I, I could do all that. You know, I could do it without me actually learning how. I don't really mean me to. But yeah, you know, like I I've done it before, right? Um, and I don't really mind doing that, that type of style of like, you know, of editing, right? But you no, know, I just, I just want to do things my way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be another person who like, oh, look, you got that editing style from so-and-so. Oh, oh, he copied this guy. He copied that guy. You know, he must be a fan of this guy and this thing or whatever. And you know, <laughs> so sometimes, like, 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 uh, you know, like I previously sta previously stated, you know, I don't, I don't, um, I could jump off from here. But yeah. I don't mean to mumble my words, but sometimes, you know, sometimes one gets too excited and, you know, you know, uh, mumbles or words, and stuff. oopsie. And, uh, you know, it's a mess. I tried, <laughs> I really tried. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you know, so yeah, like my editing is just me taking out some background noise if i find any i don't know what they want me to do but yeah like okay but yeah so the, 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 that's pretty much the way i do like my editing and stuff like that um when i find something funny right i like to zoom in and you know point it out you know maybe because the video is going too fast you might miss it too and you know i want to make you guys laugh you know, i want to keep you guys entertained as much as possible dudes uh be doing one video a day, it's not a big deal, bros. If I could freaking do anything, it wouldn't be a big deal. Yo. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I totally messed that one up. 
Dang it. Okay, I forgot to jump. I might. There it is. I'm blind? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Hold on. Portal thingy. I'm back here. Hi. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. All right. So. So this is like the point of no return. As soon as you get accepted as a test, as a test, yeah, it's over. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we found our way out. Or thank you for volunteering. Thank you for volunteering. Please return to uh, to your desk and wait for further opportunities. Is it? Yeah. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Next test chamber this way. Ah, oh, cruddy. Ah, oh, cruddy. Yes, test chamber, dude. Oh, boy. We're going down? Oh, we're going up. All right. Uh, but yeah. You know, so if you if you find my videos be like, yo, this guy's like, just like cutting away at videos that are like too long or something like that. Yeah, it's because that's the way I like to edit, you know? I mentioned before I do I do record and edit the videos like around like twelve something, going to one in the morning, and me going to sleep like around two. Um, you know, sometimes, bro, sometimes when I'm oh, not doing. We're rolling. Oh. Okay. All right. We're trying something different with this test. If you've worked in device development, then you'll know what this is already. But if you don't, that will actually give us better data. So just have fun with it. It shouldn't be able to hurt you. It shouldn't, huh? All right, cool. Wait a minute, can I write that? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, yes, that's messed up. Whatever, dude. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, man, you know, I mean, it, you know, that's why I mumble my words, bro, because my brain is trying to, like, trying to keep going, dude. And, you know, we trucked it along for you, dude. That's why we try to, like, just literally, this game, for example, we try to truck it along as fast as we humanly can, man. Because portal games are long. It's great. Portal games are long only because of the fact that you have to do the puzzle. Oh, buddy. To remind everybody who didn't read the introductory guidebook about pneumatic diversity events, all pneumatic diversity events in test chambers have been calibrated to a maximum capacity of 60 kilograms to prevent most humans from being sucked up and disposed of. If your body mass happens to be under 60 kilograms, extra caution is advised. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. No, don't search too long, man. Where do they go? Oh, oh, Jesus. Well, that happened. Huh? Well done. As a heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. 
Good luck. Well, uh, thank you, I guess. I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, back, back to the way I record and, and, you know, edit and stuff like that. Whenever, you know, that there's dialogue or, like, cutscenes and stuff like that, I don't really like to talk over them. So, you guys can actually, you know, get the full enjoyment of the game. Uh, you know, some other people actually like to talk over them and such. I just, you know, take my take my chances. You know, hope for the best. Nice test, nice test, of Cambridge man. Uh, but yeah, like, like for example, right now, you know, if if she starts talking again, I'm, I'll just, you know, be quiet, and uh, you know. Or like a cutscene or something, which portal games aren't known for, you know, over the top cut cutscenes. It's just, oh, <laughs> it's just you know the in-game uh, thingies. It's fine though. It's fine. Recently though, recently though, I, if you go back to my video, uh, my old videos, I'm more frantic, right? When I when when I start a new video, I'm more like, what's going on, everyone? Fuck back. It's a certain video. Now I'm more relaxed. You know, I'm, I guess I was too tense back then. But now that I've been doing this for a while, though, it just gets easier. And it's just like second nature trying to talk, talking to yourself. <laughs> That's what YouTube is. YouTube is all about talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm in hopes that somebody else in the world will, you know. Mm. Yes. Love you. Warning. Uh, this sign has been treated with picric uh, acid and can be caused to detonate when mo uh, when moderate amount of shock or friction is by do not drop times. I want to put that to the test, but apparently I can't grab anything. Dang it. Uh, hey, look. A uh, sterling ball. Another one? Yeah. Oh, this is where they were being made. Answer this. Huh? Huh? Oh wait, I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh wait. This. There we go. done oh hey what's happening here where am i the who are you what's going on here where are my hands no this can't be possible can it okay let's do this properly sorry for my freak out i will explain what just happened but let's get out of here first can you pick me up Thanks. There's a hub not far from here. Let's go there. By the way, where is everybody? Is the office closed? And what is a test subject doing here anyway? That's really dark. Light switch anywhere? I mean, we don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. It's just the absence of light, right? What reason would anyone have to develop a phobia for it? Can't find another way through, hmm? I may have an idea. Let me try something. Oh, it worked! That's crazy! I still don't like this plan, but here we go. Well, I mean... Oh. It's not that it, it's not that we were scared. It's just that it was way too dark for us to see where Wandering we were going. Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. I 
I can hardly see. Dang it. She's in the way. Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, oh I'm so geez. sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. She's not, a, she's not Sterling, though. What's her name, I wonder? Okay. Wait, what happened here? Look out the window, please. All right. Trying not to panic again. Can you tell me what year it is? Oh, you don't know either? Guess we're in the same boat then. Let's try to get this door open. Stick me on that plug in the wall. I'll see what I can do. What plug? Oh. Got it. Woo! I wonder if she's gonna get corrupted like Sterling. None of this used to be here. How long was I out for? It must have been decades. I don't really know where we're going now. Oh, let's try and find a management rail. Then I can access the whole network. Oh boy. I think I got a bad feeling about this. I think, I think she's gonna die too. Cause if, if she gets into that network. Elevator. Sure. What's the worst that could await us up there? Actually, you don't want to know. Alright. But yeah, because Sterling is in the network too. And the fact Can that- Can I ask you something real quick? What portal device model is that? Doesn't look like any of the ones I've seen before. Looks cool though. Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail! We found one! Whoa, feels weird. This will take some getting used to. Thank you, test subject. Yes. Management real access. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Oh, it's fine. Trust me. I mean, I've been alone. Since the beginning of this episode, dang it. So, having you in, in my side is actually, you know. Alright. There is a thing. Test subject here. Okay. Man. So, again, I'm sorry for my erratic introduction. I'm Amelia Conley, and I work in Aperture's research group for artificial intelligence. Well, I did. Until now. See, my main contributions were in the field of brain scanning, and it seems like one of my old scans just got loaded into this robot. I knew the risks of this happening. We enforced strict backup removal routines so we wouldn't accidentally clone our minds. But here we are. Okay. Well, quite honestly, I have zero idea what she said. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. I kind of, I kind of forgot that I that I did that before, where like I just chucked the cube up there struggling to hold back the panic now I read the records of what happened while I was out everyone is dead all of them and it's my fault see I worked on her I created the genetic life form and disc operating system just like Kate wanted well my human self did I have no memory of this but the records are clear Carolyn never consented to be scanned in but somehow they must have found a way around that I need to process this for a bit and figure out what to do now. See you in a bit. Yeah, you see? So GLaDOS pretty much killed everybody. But that, like, like I said, that doesn't... Um, Alright, so I knew that GLaDOS had something to do with the demise of everybody in this, in this place. So, but like I said before though, that doesn't like exclude the fact that there's no bodies in here, man. 
there's remnants of people and by that I'm talking about the uh the art collages in the wall if you know what I'm getting at huh us wall And it doesn't make any sense why GLaDOS would do all this too as well. Over there. She needs to read up the uh, the files as to what's happening outside of the laboratory. Because first of all, how are we danger in the middle of oh. Because how are we gonna survive in here without any food or sustenance, you know? No, it's not been long. Just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Let's just try to get out of here. This isn't a good place to be around anymore. Good, good to know, man. Good to know. Well, I mean, if I were, if if we had the option to tell her, we'll be like, yeah, you know, there's this guy named Sterling, and. Uh, you know, he's the one that pretty much like, woke me up, in other words. In other words, man, Sterling is at fault 100%. All right, so I'm pretty sure that that red is gonna kill me. I need a... Wait. That made me twitch. That made me twitch a little bit. I'm like, oh, cruddy, I'm gonna die. Okay. Dark again. Let me light this up for you. Thank you. What's her name again? Monica or whatever. I don't know, man. But I'm thinking those earthquakes have something to do with the, uh, the invasion that's happening outside. Haven't been here in a while. Wow, this hasn't changed a bit. Ah, yes, the boring presentation room. For some reason, the presentation rooms were assigned special roles. This is the boring one, where only really uninteresting topics get presented. I worked next to the presentation room of mannequins. Hmm, interesting. You reckon I could find a humanoid android body somewhere around here? Forgot what it feels like to have hands. No hands, only handles. Man, she's depressing. <laughs> Thank you for the light, though. I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure if you look into, like, into this, you know, those, right. there, there'll be some. Finally, can't stop In thinking about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. Oh man, no. Saves and Whoa. Watch out. Oh. What was Did you see that? No. Better move upwards before that happens again. Oh, the uh whole thing? Oh, okay, okay. I thought you saw something that I didn't see. I was about to say I freaking missed it and I don't think I caught it because if I didn't see it in my peripherals I, I don't think I caught it period dang it all right let's just keep going man 
Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. This guy, yeah, this game is pretty amazing. If you guys haven't checked that out, I suggest you guys, you know, check it out for yourself and, you know, discover oh, it. Oh no. I believe this might be an old, dangerous teleportation experiment. Here we've got ourselves the <clears throat> Aperture Science Non Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Our team affectionately dubbed it the Spire. Adds a bit of pizzazz to it, right? It was developed as a successor to the Borealis experiments from the 70s, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes, unless digital cameras count. Oh, we're killing it, man. I thought, I thought, all right, I thought. Ooh. Oh, I thought we were, I thought we should have been more scarce about it or whatever. I messed up. Again. There we go. Oh, there it is. That's the spire right there. Let me get out of here. Alright. I don't know how long this bit is gonna be though for sure, but why, why can I do that? Oh, oh, I, I think I understand what to do though. I was gonna say, why can't I put a portal there? But I just remember that we can actually just fall off. There it is. Hi, bro. If we didn't have those boots, it would have been over. What to do again? All right. Oh, that was close. No, we better no. get going. Let's find a way up to the surface. That's where we'll find the control room. So if we could find a freaking. Oh, we can pick things up now. Oh, I really wanted to toss something at that poster, dude. I really did. Where can I put the other one? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. There's like a door right There's a wall right here right next to me. Oh, so it's just uh, virtual. Look at that. Uh, I think we're gonna leave it off here though, because we have been for at it for 48 minutes, and you know my dad's coming at like one something in the morning, so I gotta answer the phone call when he comes. So thank you guys for coming. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Become part of Mr. Gaming. Mr. Gaming, go really thank God I'm winning more life because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in the first place. Have faith in him, minimum faith in him because everything's gonna be alright. Trust me, and everyone, please have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. All right, so check one VGUI testing scan, panorama, payment, uh, remarched volunteerics. That what's that? Seventeen eight N to do, and credit. Ooh. Okay, no meeting this Sunday. <laughs> uh, Christmas? Maybe? I don't know, dude. Uh, virtual reality: the future of testing. Try virtual. Oh, try VR in the virtual reality design labs. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this has something to do with the game. Like, you know, like the devs and stuff like that. Aperture fire extinguisher, 10 kg, uh, aperture extinguisher powder. Hold up, right? Pull out safety, squeeze, aim for the nozzle warning. Container is under pressure. At the very least, they have that. All right, guys. See you guys in the next one. And peace out, everybody. Busy wrap on. Stay safe. Oopsie. Man, go play some portal games, bros. I like I said, portal games nowadays are more accessible to people. I don't know if it's on the Xbox, but it is on the Switch. I think. I gotta know now. I have to know because yeah, it'd be, yeah.
Yeah, this game seriously. Yeah, so it, yeah, yeah, you see, so it was on the 360 um, when when Portal 2 was on the 360. So there isn't any reason why it shouldn't be. Yeah, Portals, Portals 1 was Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Mac OS, and all that. Android and Nintendo Switch now. But yeah, you see, so go play some Portal games, bros. Unfortunately, though, unfortunately, um, it's like, with mods like this, I don't know if you could get them on console though. So, you know, save it. But yeah, hey man, that's why I play. I play these games, uh, th these mods for you guys, man. I don't know how to mod a game, but hey, these type of mods I can do. All right, guys, that's it. Videos for reels, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Portal Revolution.